What's good? What's good? It's your boy Drama House A Game Entertainment. You already know. Battle Rap Soul Head Coon Gang bringing you the latest on the suckers and the sucker shit that's going on. What's really good? You dig? <laughs> ah, here we go again with the lies, the biasness. Here we go again, y'all. Nothing but lies. Every time I hear these bloggers and these battle rappers talk about um battles that happen. Um, in the pay-per-view or they was in the building, it be lies. It be lies, man. Come on, y'all niggas don't be knowing what the fuck y'all talking about. Niggas is dick riding. That's it because niggas was saying Charlie Clips caught a body on Mav High for it was 3-0. That's what niggas was saying. That's what niggas was saying. And I just watched the battle and it seemed to me Charlie Clips got body. Charlie Clips got body. Yes, Charlie Clips got body. He had a good first round. It was okay. The, the personals was trash. He ain't had no real personals or nothing. So I was listening. I'm like, okay, Charlie, whatever, whatever. So I listened to it. I'm like, okay, that was pretty cool, but it really wasn't nothing amazing. Math Hoffa go. You feel me? And um, I could have swore I heard a nigga say Math Hoffa choked. Some shit they said about Math in his battle or whatever. So I'm waiting on Math Hoffa to choke or whatever. It never came. So first round, Math go. Math breaking down the situation, talking about personals and all that type of shit, like letting us know how he felt and what happened, even though we know majority of what happened, but this is what you're supposed to do in the battle. You feel me? This is closure. We're supposed to get the story, get it all out, and let's go. You feel me? I got Math Hoffa taking the first round. Math Hoffa was way personal. Math Hoffa was like just better than me. Math Hoffa wasn't like like it wasn't bar heavy he was talking to charlie clips and that's what i wanted to see in this closure i want to see a nigga getting talked to i don't want to just hear no bars random bars and you know how charlie be doing or whatever but first round i got mav hoffa taking that you dig so i'm like okay well maybe in the second round charlie about to turn up no charlie did not turn up guess what charlie did y'all after that first round he was feeling that shit, nigga. He started freestyling. He did a rebuttal and then he started freestyling. You can even see Mav go, you feel me? He had a few pieces in there here and there because that's how it is in a freestyle. You might get off here and then die down here. So that's what it was. But it was just like, bro, what are you talking about? This is a closure battle. It's like some shit happened. We want to hear about the shit happened, nigga. We want to we wanna feel that shit like, nigga, how you feel about it? Charlie Clips did not do that. After that first round, nigga, he was feeling that shit, nigga. He went into a freestyle because he forgot what the fuck he was going to say. You feel me? Because Mav ate his dumb ass up. Facts. I don't care what none of you niggas be saying. Nigga, I care about what I say, what I see, what I think. That's what I care about. I don't give a fuck about niggas like, oh, I don't agree with that. Like, okay, nigga. Okay. I could dig that. You don't supposed to agree with anything I, I say. You feel me? But at the end of the day, these bloggers and these motherfucking battle rap fans be biased as fuck. Be some whole ass niggas at the end of the day. Because they don't be speaking the real. They said Charlie Clips got this 3-0. That's what niggas was saying. Charlie Clips got this 3-0. You understand me? So I'm like, Okay, okay, he probably, math probably fell off or whatever Because after the hollow shit, he probably was like, you know, still riding that wave Man, math come out second round and killed that nigga Math came out the second round and killed that nigga, you understand me? You know how I know he killed the nigga, not just from what I was listening to watching The third round, Charlie Clips got mad like he did in the Lux battle about his father he got mad. He was in his feelings. And let me tell y'all, all through the battle, there was a lot of stumbling from Charlie Clips. You feel me? He really started stumbling in that third, like, you feel me? Because he was mad. He ain't like that um, father shit. And then he started the motherfucking round off the same way he started off against um, um, Lux. And then the same way he started off against somebody else, he was like, I got to say it again. My grandmother was this, and my grandmother was the one had to do this, and my grandmother and my mother and all this shit, man. I was looking like this nigga having a breakdown right now. And people started clapping for this shit. They was clapping for this shit. It didn't even really like, like we heard him say this shit already. He wasn't spitting bars or nothing. He was like mad, lashing out at the crowd. 
He was lashing out at the crowd. He wanted them back on his side because he, he, he liked to be loved. You understand me? But at the end of the day, nigga, he was getting broken down, nigga. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say, nigga. First two rounds, math took those motherfuckers. And in the third, he showed because that nigga Charlie Clips started having a fucking breakdown. You feel me? You know who else snitched? Who, who, what's the name else snitched? Like Luck said, every time he get jammed up, he start pointing the finger at other niggas. Every battle it happened. Good looking Lux, you dig? So, um, uh, Mav go, right? It's already 2-0 to me anyway, Mav go. Mav shit wasn't fire, fire, but he was talking to that nigga Charlie. And then he just fucked Charlie up when he told the nigga, like, you know what? You get on here and talk about your grandmother was the gangster and your mother was the gangster and all that. But your father was out there shooting, selling dopes, selling dope to keep clothes on your back and all this and all that and all this and whatever. And then he was like, and right before he could, like, tell you he loved you, you call him a sucker in front of a bunch of people just to get a reaction. You feel me? It was like. Damn, like he was hitting that nigga with boom, boom, body shots. You feel me? Body shots. That nigga was feeling that shit, nigga. The motherfucking salad bar rebuttal. Niggas didn't even catch it. It was fire. You feel me? That math hit him with. Man, fuck the nigga up. Man, fuck this nigga up. 3-0. This was a body. This was a body, nigga. Math is on the tear right now. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say, nigga. This was a body, nigga. He got it if, unless you want to debate the first round. That's the only way you can say this ain't a body. If you want to debate the first round, but I still feel like um, the he even started off like, I'm not going to get personal. I'm going to bar you to death. And then he still tried to get personal, but it wasn't shit. You feel me? You know how Charlie Clips be all over the motherfucking board with his rap. But at the end of the day, nigga, Math know he won that battle because you could see it. He could see the he could see it in that nigga. He was holding on that nigga's shoulder while he was rapping or whatever. You know, Charlie Clips usually a move your hand like he did Lux and niggas like that. He ain't move that nigga math hand at all. Math was calling that nigga pussy. Like explaining why he was so pussy, nigga. Like he just kept calling that nigga pussy. Explaining the whole shit. And everything he was saying was official. What's official, man? He fucked Charlie Clips up. So all the Charlie Clips fans wanna come in the comments and say, oh nigga, it's no nah, nigga. If you a real nigga, nigga, you know your man's lost, nigga. He was he was in his feelings in the third. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even think Matt was hitting him that hard for him to jump in his feelings like that, y'all. Watch the third round, how the nigga start off again, man. Like, nervous breakdown, Charlie Clips. And they started clapping for the nigga for saying his grandmother was the gangster. He had to go. They was about to lock her up, and he had to see which parent he wanted to see and all that dumb ass shit. I was like, man, he freestyling and he fucking up. He stuttering. He did a lot of stuttering through the whole fucking battle. You understand me? So I was just looking like, if he come hard, maybe he can get this round off. He didn't. Nigga, because after he said all that shit about his, his grandmother and his mother and all that, when that nigga man said, nigga, you shit on your own father to get a, a crowd reaction, the nigga that was out there putting in the real work, your mother wasn't putting in no motherfucking work. He said that nigga in jail right now. He said that nigga somewhere in jail training four Ninja Turtles. He said that nigga was getting, nigga was having 69s with some nigga named Mike. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just from the, the life he living right now. Man, he dog Charlie Clips, man. Math Hoffa, man. He dog Charlie Clips. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. This was bad. Charlie Clips was looking bad. You can go ahead and clap for the nigga. And then in the third, he was talking about Cassidy. He was all over the place. He wasn't even really addressing math. You understand me? So that really made it look bad. His best bars was against Cassidy. You feel me? That's crazy, man. Math high for 3-0. Body, nigga. Had that nigga in his feelings, nigga. Drama House, A-Game Entertainment, you already know. Battle Rap's old head. Coon Gang bringing you the latest on the suckers and the sucker shit that's going on. What's really good, you dig? <laughs>